I know I see some Seneca and I, I know I see Graceview, I see some I 85. But can I, can I tell I 85 something? I, I, Albert, this is the last thing Brother Kennedy told me. After he told me, I, he, he met my wife right before he passed. And he asked her, he said, Where are you from? And she said, Aiken. He said, I didn't know no pretty girls was in Aiken. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I just told him I went and got the last one they had. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's called redeemed. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but 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 when I see '85, when I see Albert, um, even when I think about my my own father, I, I um I I don't I don't stand here out of my own strength. Um, I'm sanctified. I'm, I'm saved. Um, but there, there are some great men ahead of us, and, um, and, and I think we would always do a disservice not to even think about them or mention their name. My, my, my father's name is B.J. Barr. He's a bad dude. He, um, he ain't talking right now, but I still can feel him. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and Brother Kennedy ain't talking right now, but he talked to me so much. I know a lot of stuff he said. He used to tell this story about uh, the choice is up to you and it's in your hand. Yeah. And, um, and, um, and, I, and I, I love you. It's good, it's good to see you. Um, I want to be practical. I'm, on, I'm only going to preach one word. I'm going to use several words to preach it. <laughs> but I'm only going to preach one word. Uh, uh, Grace View, can you give it up for your, for your servant leader? Can you give it up for your servant leader? Yeah. I was, Albert, I was talking to J.K. Hamilton recently, and he reminded me of something. And, and, and we need to be reminded of this. Um, but first of all, before I say that, don't, don't, don't take for granted the gift. All right, say it again, bro. Yes, sir. Don't take for granted the gift. If, if you knew, <laughs> I didn't know. Lord have mercy, I didn't know. I took an online quiz recently. I hope, can can, can y'all can, can y'all Facebook with me before we go to Facebook? Um, <laughs> I took an online quiz recently, and it said, um, "Take a quiz to determine which person you're the most like in the Bible." So, for my own spiritual entertainment, I decided to take the quiz. Uh, you know, because because stuff on is it, see the reason why you always need a, a hard copy because um, on those digital devices you got something called pop ups. You, you was trying to read your Bible, but you got to, ain't, ain't that kind of how the devil is? Uh, when I would do good, there's a, <laughs> there's a, there's a and it kept popping up, so I decided to take it. And the quiz said I was most like Jonah. On my way to Tarsus. <laughs> Supposed to be a Nineveh. <laughs> but, 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 but can I tell you, we all have belly moments. Uh, I, 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 can, can we all have we all have belly moments and and the Bible you probably don't know this but the Old Testament closes and the New Testament a couple books over opens that when the shepherd is struck the sheep will scatter I find it very interesting that closes near the end of the Old Testament it opens it up somewhere to, you know. um, and it's very hard to keep your my favorite movie of one, uh, not of all time, but y'all know the movie The Great Debaters? Yeah. Uh, any Denzel people in the house? Uh, y'all yeah. ain't that holy. Come on here. Yeah. <laughs> it's a part of him in the movie. He said, I'm here to help you keep your ever loving mind. Yeah. And the reason why you, you, you need to do good by the shepherd, because honestly, they're here to help you keep your ever loving spiritual life. The devil is a roaring lion. Yeah. See, see you don't, don't see that text without teeth. Seeking who he may devour. But I'm so glad that Jesus is the lion of the tribe. I wish I had a witness. He's the lion of the tribe of Judah. And he will do whatever it takes to protect his children. Take care of the people who are thinking about you. I don't care who comes and I don't care who goes. Um, there's somebody praying for you. There's somebody thinking about you. There's somebody thinking out how in the world can I make somebody else's life better. And, and, and that normally stands in the personality of the pulpit because just in case you don't know, the pulpit is just designed to help pull you. 
And, and we've all, any, anybody had a pit moment? I, 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 I've had some. Every now and then I had to do like David. I had to encourage myself to get myself up out of the pit. But can I tell you, all of us are have pitted moments, but you need to make sure that the person who is designed that God has placed in your life to help pull you out of the pit, you don't push him in it. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't push them in. You know, I used to think this preacher talk was hocus pocus. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, hey, 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 uh, they, they love you one day and I, I ain't started yet. So y'all hold on. Y'all hold on. Y'all hold on. Um, anybody ever been to a fish fry? I got to make sure I'm in the right place. Uh, a, fi a fish fry on Friday. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, bro, cleaning. You know, Jesus threw through the world's largest fish fry. Yeah. Just, just, just in case. I don't know what kind of fish they were, but, uh, but, but, but I, 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 I believe whatever kind of batter he used, it was divine. Because, yeah. because, because, if he can, if he can do like this and heal eyes, what kind of batter could he throw on fish? Yeah. <laughs> um, he threw the world's largest fish fry. A few weeks later, he had a funeral. Over 5,000 people, 5,000 just count of men, over 5,000 people at the fish fry, three people at the funeral. I want, I want you to think about that for a minute. If you threw a fish fry and you had thousands or hundreds of people to show up and they had your funeral a few days later, and if you could get a peek out the casket <laughs> and you looked around, Zay, and didn't see but three people, I bet your behind would rise from the dead. And say, what happened to all the people I fed? But I'm here that no matter what we go through, and, and, and we want to be appreciated, we want to be loved, but despite that, call to be faithful. And that same calling is on your life. Be thou faithful, not on, unto, until. And I will give you a crown of life. Can y'all pray with me? Hallelujah, salvation and glory. Glory and honor to the Lord of Lords for the Lord our God is wonderful and the Lord our God is omnipotent and the Lord our God He's our God in him. We move and breathe and have our very being Lord we thank you for looking past our faults and seeing our needs Thank you for holding us when we didn't hold ourselves. Thank you for being faithful when we are faithless now we ask that you bless this word and we bless the hearers of the word. Yeah. And that as we hear the word, may it not just fall on our ears, but fall in our hearts, down to our hands and to our feet. That we can go and be light in the world, for we are the body of Christ. And we come to illuminate the world so somebody will look at us and say, ooh we tell me about you. And we just tell them about our daddy. Thank you for everything that you've given us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Not sure who is here today, but I want to give you a great philosopher, and I'll tell you who he is after I finish quoting one of his great pieces. And if it, if it hits you while I'm doing it, um, you can just shout it out. Like a fool, I went and stayed too long. Now I'm wondering if your love is still strong. Oh, baby, here I am, sign. Seal, delivered, I'm yours. Then that time came to say goodbye. Now I'm back and I'm not ashamed to cry. Oh, baby. Here I feel I sound like scary. Dude. Come on, baby. Uh, oh, baby. Sign, seal, delivered, I'm yours. Anybody know who that is? The person who wrote it don't have eyesight. I'm going somewhere, y'all. Y'all stay with me. See, Charlie, I grew up in a time where um, I, I had my grandma. My grandma's name was Bright Harris, and she used to do preserves. Anybody know anything about? I, I, I need to see what room I'm in. And so they used to cut the peaches and skin the peaches and take the pit out and wash the peaches and and and, hot water and they do all that. But then, but then they would get a jar. Brian, Brian told me to with the mic. Then they would get a jar. Um, in Camden, it's called a mason jar. And, and, and they would fill up the jar and they put that little thing on it. That little, that little pressure seal. Uh, 
and by the way, they always did it in water. Th that's a point, but I'm not going to make it right there. Uh, 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 and then they would put the ring around it, and they would make sure that seal was... My grandma passed away a few years ago. I was in our house, and I saw some preserves. Peach. Peach preserves. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's smuckers, it's just better, better than smuckers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I decided to see if, if they were still good. And I took the ring off, and it said, still fresh. The date on them was about 10 years prior. <laughs> about 10 years prior, sitting up on a shelf, waiting on somebody to come partake of it. Signed, sealed, delivered. These peaches are yours. So as we do this sermon uh, sermonic presentation. I, I would like to do it illustratively. Can, can, can I do that? Can, 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 Brother Jones, can you help me? Can, can you grab those envelopes right there? Uh, grab those envelopes. I, I want everybody to have an envelope, and you ain't got to wait on them. If, if they're taking too long, you can run and get your own envelope. Uh, sometimes I think we do too much for people in the church. Everyone, you are, yeah. Hey, I, I, I want you to have an envelope. Don't uh, and, 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 and don't leave unless you, unless you get one. If, if, if we run out, keep in mind, Jesus' blood don't run out. We just ran out of envelopes. Amen. So the mason jar told me something that as long as it stayed sealed, what was inside of it was good. So I want you to follow me to Ephesians chapter 1. This is part 2 of this morning. This morning we, we dealt with the precious promises of God. And that God places his gifts in heavenly realms. So whatever we go through, he puts it in a place where man can't get it. So whatever we go through, keep in mind that God has given us something that man can't touch. But not only has he given us something that man can't touch, it's sealed. That's your word. It's sealed. And I want, and, and I want to start in verse 7 because right through here about four times it says in him. So it's sealed in something. It's not sitting some. It's sealed in something. It's sealed in something. If, if, if y'all got your envelopes, y'all got your wave them at me. Wave them at me. Wave them at me. They read for a reason. That ain't no mistake. It's hard to find red. I hope y'all appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> so in Ephesians chapter one, I'm in the New King James version. It says in him. Y'all shout out in him. Yeah. We have redemption we have. Through, his through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, forgiveness. according to the riches. Of his grace which he has made abound toward us in all wisdom and prudence having made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure that he purposed in himself that in the dispensation of the fullness of time that he might gather together all things in Christ both which are in heaven and on earth in him and in him we have also obtained an inheritance uh, 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 inheritance being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things to the counsel of his will that we who first trusted in Christ should be to the praise. I told you this morning when you drop the P off of praise, that's where you get your raise. Don't you dare forget not to praise. That's where your raise is. It should praise to of his glory. Here it is, verse 13, in him. Y'all say in him. In him you have trusted. After you have heard the word the word y'all do know who the word is the uh, uh, uh the, the word the, wor the word is jesus in the beginning was the word and the word was god and the word was with god all things were made by him and without him so 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 when christ says logos he puts the word in flesh and made it dwell among us and we beheld his glory jesus is the word no word no homecoming In him, verse 13, you have trusted after you have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also having believed you were 
sealed, woo, sealed, sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, who is the guarantee of our inheritance on Till the redemption of the purchased possession to the praise of his glory. Now I want to be, I want to give you a, a theological concept, then I'm coming back to the text. And but I but but I need to make sure ain't nobody on the short bus. Brother Curry, the Holy Spirit gave me this. When I when I was reading this text and it said sealed. Um, it said it said it said sealed. I don't I don't I don't. I'm, I'm, is it, you got verse thirteen? Yeah, yeah you got verse thirteen. Um, uh, it, it said sealed. Uh, can can y'all go slow with me? Um, what two words does that look like to you? Oh, stay with. Don't 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 you forget this. You, you, you I'm, I'm over here. I'm in the long bus class. Sea <laughs> led. Stay with me. There's a story in Exodus where they're making an exit All right. and they're going through a yeah. <laughs> and they're going through a sea. Yeah. But when they get to a sea, they had a Michael Jackson moment. Uh -huh. He wasn't out there. <laughs> but can you imagine? Finally getting out, and it looks like you're about to go back down. Uh -huh. mm. yeah. His paths are through the sea. Can, can you imagine? Finally get 400 years of oppression. I, 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 I should have a witness. Uh, 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 can you imagine getting out and finally getting to a sea? Here's your Michael Jackson moment. You ain't took no YMCA classes. You can't swim. Uh -huh. The mountains are too high to get over. Right. It's too low to get them. You stuck in the <laughs> and somebody says, "Hold your peace." Can, can y'all put yourself in the text for a minute? See, see, the Bible don't get good to you until you step into the text. See, 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 see. I, I know it's on your. I know it's on your living room table. It need to be on your bedroom. Uh, hey, can I tell you how? Can I tell you how good the Bible is? I'm pausing, parent. Can I tell you how good it is? I, I know people have called me and said, "Brother, I can't sleep." I say, "Pull out Psalms." I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, if you can't sleep, the devil, if he feels you about to pull out your Bible, he will. <laughs> Anybody ever had that problem? You, you couldn't sleep. You said, let me go get my Bible. All of a sudden, I don't know what we're over. <laughs> I was praying one night, fell asleep in my prayer. Just woke up and said, amen. <laughs> When I would do good. <laughs> so here they are, ready to escape everything that they've gone through. And all of a sudden, the world's greatest army at that time. Because see, they went there because there was provision in the land. There was a famine. So it was provision in the land. And now there's a pharaoh that has grown up that does not know how they got there. And so now, um, uh, um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a runaway slave <laughs> who's a murderer that comes in there and say, let my people go. I, I need to say that because some, some of us think our goodness is predicated on something that we have to do. Moses is a runaway slave with a murder charge. I don't know how, what kind of trees they had in Egypt, but I'm sure there were some warning signs. With Moses' picture on it, and can you see him going back into town and say, "Lord, you want me to do that? Do something?" And Moses, you, 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 you know, Lord, I, I, I hear your brother. Dog. You ever tried to get out of something? <laughs> and, 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 and God places a stuttering, runaway murderer yeah. as part of the deliverance. Yeah. Of his people, and now that they walking out with Egyptian stuff. <laughs> well, y'all think? See, 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 y'all not paying attention in your life. You know those sheets that you want? You want the Egyptians? 
500 thread count. <laughs> Y'all still sleeping in bondage. You just... <laughs> right there in the text I'm not making this up and, and, and all of a sudden they get to something that it feels like they can't get over seal sea lead and then he says stand still and see now I want you to be a child a child, uh, 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 I want you to be a, a child of Israel I want you to be an Israelite right now and you at the back of the line <laughs> Pharaoh, I ain't really want to go anyway. <laughs> I don't even like Moses. <laughs> Where he at? He up front. <laughs> I'll go back with you. I love working for you. <laughs> see, you got to be human in the Bible. See, 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 the Bible, keep in mind, is a family book of a family who he's going to deliver that, if I had to summarize it for you the Bible is a family book of a family who he's going to deliver but the family has to be in him uh, it's, it's a family book and, 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 and can, can, can't you see the terror especially on the people in the back the people in the front say Mo you need to hurry up now <laughs> you brought us out here to die we could have died in Egypt and all of a sudden Moses stretches out his hand. Lord have mercy. And the sea. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, Moses. Opens up. And you know that dude I told you in the back? Now he done started saying, Nana, you ain't gonna <laughs> be human. Be human in the text. And all of a sudden, they start going across yes. on. Yeah. Brian, I always wonder why they say a dry land. Yeah. Will, will y'all let me have a little bit of spiritual imagination? I think they wanted dry land because they didn't want the past mud to track up their future possession. Yeah. Right. <laughs> see, see, there's some stuff that God has made a way for us. But what we do, we, 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 we leave on those same shoes and, 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 and we track our past into our future. So instead of talking about where I'm going, we're talking about, well, you don't know where I've been through. Yeah. Look at these shoes right here. Yeah. <laughs> but he did it on dry ground. Yeah. But see, the power in that is that if the sea is always there, only God. All right. <laughs> Only God can make the ground dry. And all of a sudden, they, they, they go through on dry ground. And now, now, Pharaoh was cocky. I don't know if this was the, the, the Trump Pharaoh or who. I don't, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, Pharaoh, Pharaoh is cocky. He's cocky. And he got the baddest army in the world. See, see, when you read the text, you have to see Egypt, Egypt as the most powerful force in the world at that time. You, you got, you got, cause, cause, cause see, they had storehouses that Joseph was over. Y'all, y'all know Joseph, the, the, the foreign dude that was second in charge. Uh, 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 he, they, they, and they came there off to be preserved. I'm, I'm still in the text. But they didn't know how they were going to be preserved. So the bottom line, the same thing that let them in. Let them back out, but they stayed too long. They grew a powerful people, but this time God is going to say, I'm going to get you out and the world can't do you no harm. So what he did as they walked through, then Pharaoh said, you know what? Any military people in here? You used to be, I ain't tell you right now, you're not. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, can you see your strategy? ain't never seen this before and, 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 can, and can I tell you God is doing some stuff in your life right now that you ain't never seen before but instead of walking you <laughs> and 
all of a sudden God waits to everything that's chasing his people get in. Yeah. And he seals it. Okay, y'all y'all not here yet. Y'all not y'all y'all not here yet. But he seals what's after them because he's already given the people who came out on the other side a promise. <laughs> Can I tell you right now in this place in Anderson, South Carolina, that there's some stuff that you are over consumed with, but it's already been taken care of? Anybody say, anybody say me an envelope? Did y'all say me? You need water. <laughs> and some of y'all, y'all don't do this no more. Y'all put the little water in the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how we do it right now. <laughs> yeah, seal, baby. They don't make tape without water. Look out, right? Yeah, that's right. Do you not realize that nothing is hardly ever produced without water? You lose your water right now, you know what's going to happen to you? You're going to pass out. And when you get to the hospital, the first thing they're going to give you is some water. Yeah, right. yeah. That's why you got to stop drinking all this Coca-Cola. Yeah. <laughs> you ought to preserve what's in you sometimes. Yeah. And so, 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 so God has given them an inheritance. If they trust it in the pathway after they have heard the word of truth, what's the word of truth? Stand still. <laughs> and see the salvation of the Lord. Don't y'all think it's mighty funny that salvation is mentioned right there in that text? Stand st after you have heard the word of truth, stand still the gospel of your what? Of in whom after you have believed. With that Holy Spirit promise. Show me your envelope. I'm closing. I'm the long closer, but I'm closing. <laughs> you know what that means? If, if you're a child of God, throw your hand in the air and wave it like you just don't care. <laughs> See, what that means is that Jesus. Yes. Help us, Doc. I see you. All right. I see you. Taking all our stuff. Look up. I wish I had a witness. the ungodly. He who knew no sin became sin that we might become the righteousness of God. Uh, 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 but, but why is he doing that? See, it's sealed in him. But why is he doing that? Revelation chapter 7 verse 10, it says, who are they? Who are they? Are they? <laughs> These are they. <laughs> who come out? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Who've come out? Yes, sir. And their robes have been washed. Wash. Get the blood. Yes, sir. Oh, like. So what Jesus is doing, our intercessor, mm -hmm. when you meet him here, he seals it just to do like this. Look up. Yes, sir. Washed right, it white. <laughs> Return to Sunday. you about. See, our problem is we are over consumed with what we do and under consumed with what Jesus has done. It's sealed, baby. Man, I'm so tired of spaghetti, knee, macaroni, bad Christians. I don't know what to do. Every week you up front and y'all pray for me. I got to go to <laughs> They have seen a spot. Now, I'm not making light of it, but I think people that have been sealed yeah. should have more praise reports. Yeah. 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 
in, in other words, it ought to sound like this. I know what they say is, but I got a great physician. And if it don't come out like it wanted to because I'm sealed, I have a home prepared where the saints abide just over in the glory land. And I long to be by my Savior's side because I'm sealed. Ye were sealed with a Holy Spirit of promise. <laughs> promise. Next verse says, ah, last verse, of promise which is. Not, wa watch it. That means, watch, y'all ain't ready for this. Y'all, y'all. You got it right now. See, Charlie, when I obeyed, I'm not waiting for everything he just talked about. I got it now. You know why you ain't shouting? Because you don't believe it. You count your trouble more than you count the person that troubles the water. Which is our earn, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchase possession if it says purchase which is past tense it's already been purchased I am his possession so I'm just waiting to ultimately be delivered but I already been signed and so I don't have to be overly consumed See, see, what's the need to put the emphasis on the steps of salvation and not put the emphasis on what the steps do? See, 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 yeah, yeah, I, I, I have to do this. But what does it give me? It makes me seal. An inheritance. Now, see, maybe you struggle with this because ain't nobody never left you now. Even your uncle that died. Who promised you he was going to leave you his 1922 Buick? <laughs> Somebody else beat you to it. And you don't appreciate the inheritance. But as I close, I told you about my grandma. My grandma left me an inheritance. I remember going to the bank when I was about four years old and signing my name. I, I know I got some bankers in here. And, and signing, signing my name. And... In, in, in banking, just in case you don't know, they have something that you can actually get. When a person dies, it automatically transfers. What's the official name for that? Uh, it, 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 I think it's uh, POD, payable on death. <laughs> oh, that was good. Y'all missed that. <laughs> uh, and, and my whole life, Brunson, I used to go see my grandma every summer. Never skipped a beat. You know why? Because I had inheritance. Even when I didn't want to go. I, I, I'm, I don't like pulling weeds. But say I'm <laughs> Go get the hole. <laughs> see, see the reason why I can do a little work because I know there's something laid up. <laughs> there's something laid up for me. Uh, I purchased possession that's laid up for me. So, so I remember she told me my whole life when I turned 18 that it was mine. And she told me, I used to talk to her every month. My grandma used to say stuff biblically. I'm laying aside in store. <laughs> <laughs> and when you turn 18, it's yours. Anybody want to guess where I was when I turned 18? Mm -hmm. Because she had to unlock the purchase. I'm at my grandma's house. Yeah. On my birthday, January 23rd, bright and early in the morning. She said, you hear mighty early. Well, grandma, you know, I just love you. And I just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, brother, I'm there for a couple of hours and we ain't going nowhere. Y'all stay with me. Uh, Y'all stay. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't going nowhere. And I, I, I said, um, uh, grandma, you know what the day is? Oh, it's Friday, ain't it? Yeah, but <laughs> you know what the day is, <laughs> and she still didn't say nothing. Now it's about noon. Yeah. Grandma, 
you know it's my birthday. For real? <laughs> yeah. I said, you know how old I am? But you 16? No! <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> I'm 18. Stop lying. Boy, you ain't there. I was, at, I was there when you was born. There's no way you can be 18. I said, girl, I promise you I'm 18. But well, let me call your mom and check. She picked <laughs> Evelyn. <laughs> you sure this boy 18? Yes, mom, he 18. Well, that's good. I'm going to fix him something to eat. <laughs> now, I know what time to bake clothes. She in there cooking. It's like 3.30. <laughs> I'm like, Grandma, you, you know how you don't want to say something, but you, you, remember the, the, you remember the stuff you've been doing for me my whole life? Yeah, I've been taking care of you, and you've been good. Is you out of high school yet? I said, no, I graduated. I've just graduated. I'm at Francis Man. And what's that? It's a college. <laughs> I, 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 I said, well, but you remember the, the bank? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm telling you. It's large. You ought to see it. <laughs> and she said, and I remember what I promised you. I promise you, as soon as you turn 21, <laughs> you was but when you love somebody, you don't fight with them. Because I figured, I, I looked at it, you see, I changed my perspective. At 21, I'll have more. Yeah. Anybody want to guess where I, was, where I was when I was 21? Hey, Grandma. Hey, boy. You want something to eat? Not really. <laughs> I kind of I want to go to the bank. You, need, you what you need to go to the bank for? I'm 21. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I said, I, I said you remember what you, she said, oh, oh. She said, oh, yeah, it's growing. It is growing. It's growing. And I told your mom the other day, I said, when, when I pass away, make sure Ricky get that. <laughs> Anybody had a flesh moment right through there? Yeah. But here's the point. I didn't mind doing anything for her. Because she purchased a possession. When I was little, if you allow me to go ahead and be a theological, God is a redeemer before he's a creator. You know how I know? The Bible says that, that he was slain before the foundations of the world. See, sometimes when we get right in Genesis 1, we think that's the beginning of God. No, that's the beginning of time. Jesus Christ was slain before he laid the foundation. So can I tell you something? He's laid the foundation. He sealed it. So I don't mind, watch this, they that wait upon the Lord to renew my strength. That I'll mount up on wings like eagles. I'll run, not be weary. I'll walk, I'll not faint. You know what? Because I'm sealed. Are you sealed? Are you sealed in the body of Christ? Be careful. Some of y'all might not like this. I didn't ask you, were you baptized? Because some of us talk like this. I've been baptized. I wondered, Brother Scurry, if we pull back the baptism pool curtain, how many people stopped? I wonder. Did, did we stop right here? Or did we keep on walking in into the purchase? possession that God has laid up for us. What, what, what are you saying? I'm, I'm not trivializing baptism at all, but we talk about baptism like it's something we did. Uh -huh. Got baptized. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And see, because I know what baptism does for me, I can deal with the enemies of Canaan land. Uh -huh. <laughs> when you get time, they fought more in the land than they did on the way. <laughs> you know what that really says? That really says, when I know what I have, I'll stand up for it 
despite what comes what may because I realize that my circumstances does not change God's stance and too many of us we have allowed our circumstance to change our stance and we have died on the way when we had a precious promise family don't die on the way Brian don't die on the way I know every now and then we want to hit the rock we want to cuss out though we want to do everything but don't die on the way because I read somewhere or matter of fact should I say I heard somewhere to Canaan's land I'm on my way where the soul of man never dies and I long to be woo, by my savior side over in the glory land because I know glory is a purchase prepaid possession. There are two types of phones. Here's my clothes, just in case you were wondering. You have a plan, and then you have prepaid. I know I won't ask you by hand, but some of us in here got a plan, and some of us have prepaid. Well, I'll be honest, I'm on the plan. And when I normally get the bill at the end of the month, sometimes I think maybe I need to switch over to the prepay. Because yeah. uh-huh. yeah. if you got Ver- Verizon, I, they must charge you extra for the V. Yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, one time I was thinking about sprinting from Verizon and jumping in a cricket. Y- y'all missed it. <laughs> <laughs> but the difference is, every now and then, they have some plans where they go ahead and give you an advance. Don't miss this. Jesus paid it in advance. And what I have to do is walk into what he has done in advance and I'm sealed. He puts a seal on me return to sender just in case you don't know what that meant this world is not your home you're just passing through treasures all laid up somewhere the angels can't you see them from heaven you ain't supposed to feel at home Ah, Bronson you remember when you used to jump out of bed now now you got to do the bed check while you still laying flat Then you ease over to the side. And you, you, and you take a deep, you ain't done nothing there. Whew. I sure hope there's other lady. Now you're on the edge. And there was one time when you could use your legs to get up. Now you thank God for arms. Now you don't grab the pole on the bed. (laughs) Oh. This old building. (laughs) And you finally straighten all the way up. And you talk like it's a mirror. (laughs) You start off with a small stride. A few minutes later, <laughs> and somebody asks you how you doing, I can hardly. <laughs> I'm so glad he made it for me. Yeah. Anybody love what Jesus did for you? Yeah. See, family, we got to start focusing more on what Jesus did for us. Yeah. That's good. I want my job. If I lose it tomorrow, I'm still sealed. Yeah. I love my wife. If she leave me, I'm going to follow her. But if she don't come back, I'm still sealed. Trouble may come. Trouble may come. Go. But be of good courage because I have overcome the world. Overcome. And like I said this morning, too many times we focus too much on the outlook. But 
we should be focusing more on the up look. My faith looks up to thee. If you have not been sealed, don't you leave here today without being sealed. Man, let me tell you something. There's nothing greater. There's nothing greater than being sealed. Especially when somebody else has already paid the price. Don't let your bills confuse you with paying the price. He's already paid it. And he gives me in a guarantee advance so when your seas come in life and when you have ups and downs, remember I'm sea led yes. and I've been sealed and the world can't do me no harm. Don't, don't leave here today without being sealed. There are capable people in it. We can help you. Be, you, you ain't got to get it all right because when that's going to be. I'm preaching and I ain't got I, I I'll tell you right, my wife said, every, every now and then I, 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 I see somebody in the mall. <laughs> see, see, that's what, that's what happened. The pulpit can't be honest, Dre. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my wife, she elbowed me. Okay, that's long enough. <laughs> <laughs> but when you got a sealed marriage, trouble may come. <laughs> trouble, but she reminds you that you sealed in a covenant so bring them eyes right back here see 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 y'all y'all can't really be in the church because y'all don't want to tell the truth see see some of you don't do it in your eyes you do it in your head drifting on a memory i'm so glad that i'm sealed and the things i go through don't change my position Say this with me. Don't worry, Don't worry. About, your about your condition. Be more concerned, Be more concerned. With, your with your position. See, lad, the lesson is yours. Man, come get sealed. I gave you all gospel in 7 through 14. After you've heard the word of truth, come get sealed. I, I beseech you by the mercies. Yeah. See, Scurry, I didn't understand this when I was 25. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. I heard it, uh -huh. but I didn't understand. Yeah. But when I started focusing more on him and less on me, yeah. and I started reading people like Peter, you know, Peter, the guy who, yeah. the guy who cussed Jesus out, yeah. and God still let him preach. Uh -huh. <laughs> You know David who broke like six of the Ten Commandments and God said he's a man and I started saying well shoot I must be all right y'all know Noah where my drinkers at y'all y'all know Noah you know the guy who preached for a long time and couldn't baptize but eight people <laughs> you know Noah who built a boat to get people through the seas of turbulent time uh, he got, you know, I probably would have got drawn. If I preached for 120 years. <laughs> Moses headed for the mountains. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I, I must have been too old for him. Moses' bud was not wiser. Maybe he owned the farm of Boone. <laughs> Noah. Abraham was a liar. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. See, see, I'm so glad God wrote the book because if you would have wrote it, uh -huh. <laughs> he lets me know that no matter what I go through, he can keep me sealed. Thank you, Lord, for keeping me sealed. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me. Thank you, let me know no matter what comes and no matter what goes, I'm still sealed and I have a purchase possession. The lesson is yours. Stand to your feet. I don't know what you got. I was sinking deep and far Well, and very 
deeply stained, sinking. So, 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 so